Welcome to the November 2020 Visual Artists Exhibition of the Placidus Artist Series, now in its 34th season. Due to limitations on public gatherings at this time, our concerts and art shows are being presented virtually, so you can continue to enjoy our full program in the comfort and safety of your own home. For the month of November, we are honored to present five exceptionally talented New Mexico artists under the theme, All Creatures, Great and Small. The artists were selected through a juried process, and the work is accompanied by original music created by our own resident composer, John Bullock. Now, please sit back, relax, and enjoy the art. Lindy Radice has lived a varied life, first performing as a classical musician for 10 years, then providing child therapy services in New York City, Alamo Reservation, and Albuquerque for over 25 years, and most recently creating art by drawing, painting, and taking photographs. Lindia says, beginning in 2017, I set a goal to create two digital paintings per week based on my bird and nature photographs. Using Photoshop and its extensive digital brushes, I create multi-layer paintings based on my original images with the hope that my paintings will deepen viewers' connections to the natural world. Carol Ordon enjoyed her career as a landscape architect, but dreamt of moving to New Mexico to create art full-time. Relocating to Placitas, she began painting landscapes in plain air, or otherwise, outside, by eye, in one painting session. Carol says, My artistic journey has evolved this year with our stay-at-home orders. Wanting to reach out to children and teach them about nature, I began a series of line cuts with that in mind. Like Japanese prints, there is no reference to light or form creating a flat artwork that is the opposite of my oil paintings. I hope these prints will introduce the next generation to the huge variety of plants and animals that make up our world.
Ron Richmond grew up in New York City. He received his PhD in chemistry at the University of Colorado and an MBA while employed at IBM, from which he retired as director of e-business. He and his wife, Lee, eventually resettled in Placidus, where he created Placidus Adult Community Education, or PACE for short, a program that enables senior adults to keep their heads in the game. Ron says, I've always been attracted to the water. This attraction resulted in my becoming a scuba instructor, where I discovered a world of fantasy and amazing creatures. Through photography, I've been able to document the colors and textures, as well as the strange animals of the underwater world. By combining my passion for diving and photography, I hope to convey an appreciation for the beauty of the ocean while educating viewers on the importance of its care and preservation. Judith Roderick majored in painting and design at Carnegie Tech in the late 1960s and has been creating art ever since. She taught batik and silk painting for over 20 years and now creates art quilts at her home in Placitas. Judith says, the flow of the creative process has always been my most satisfying activity and I've spent this lifetime creating in a myriad of ways. Fiber has been the strongest thread, so to speak, in this artistic journey. The complex, multi-layered nature of art quilts feels like a culmination of it all. I illustrate beauty and hope in my work and send it out to the world as a blessing.
Christiane Couvert was born into a family of artists and further her own artistic nature through multicultural travel experiences in Africa, Asia, Europe, and the Middle East. She brings into her work 30 plus years of working as a physical therapist, plus the training, centeredness, and interdiscipline of a lifetime practicing and teaching yoga and martial arts. Christiane says, creating art is a process that results in two stories. First, there's a story of its making, which is a combination of my feelings, expressions, and inspirations. The second story is how it makes you feel when you see it, touch it, or use it in your everyday life. As a piece becomes a part of your story, it takes on a patina of your expressions, involving a meal you have prepared for a special occasion, a cup of tea as you are reading, morning coffee in your garden, and so on. The artwork shown is reproduced with the express permission of the artists, who maintain copyright protection of their images. All artwork is available for purchase. For more information, please contact Steve Palmer at sepalmer at gmail.com or by calling 510-684-4447. We hope you enjoyed this virtual art exhibition and will support our artists through your purchase of their works. This video may be viewed through the end of the month at placidistartistseries.org where you can also find future concert and art exhibit information.